Hi everybody, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. I recently purchased a jelly printing plate and here are some of the things that I did with it. Now these are just like backgrounds and, and stuff like that and I'll be doing um, more. Mostly I use uh, stencils. I haven't gotten down how to do the magazine transfers with the jelly plate yet. I'm, I'm still practicing with that. Um, you have to use a brayer. You can use acrylic ink. I mean, acrylic paint. You can use any kind of paper you want to use. And this is mostly, it's just copier paper. I think I may have a couple of index cards in here. And a few, um, and one scrap piece of paper. Scrapbook piece of paper. I've also got from, and you use a brayer to, you know, roll everything out with. So I've got some images with that, that now that they're dry, I'm going to go back over and use the, um, use the uh, gel print with them. So here we go. Now this is all brayer right here. And I'm going to go back later and do something else with these. And these are index cards. And I haven't done anything on these yet. And this was one that I did. And I will say now, remember, this is printing. So um, your if you've got a stencil with a letter, it's going to come out backwards. And I just tore it up. And then I said, no, 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 no. We will use that. We don't waste. So this is just, um, I was trying something, it didn't work out, so I went over it with some purple with the brayer. Now I want to show you these two. This was a really fine um, stencil. It was cut, so it didn't get it too good. But this is the, where you would lay it on top. And then this was, I tried it green, it didn't work out, but this was what was left on the plate. So then I pulled it up that way. Kind of liked it. And again, this is just brayer. This was me just seeing about, you know. Um, like I said, I've been using copier paper. And this was something that I just was piddling around with. This is like office paper. Um, now let me show you this real quick. This I did... I started out with the orange, and this is a stencil, and then I did um, blue on, sorry guys, then I did the um, orange, pulled it up, this is like what was left after I just rubbed it the first time with this stencil on top, and then I did where I had braided out. The orange, I did blue and did the stencil over, you know, on top of the jelly plate. And then this is what I got when I pulled the uh, stencil off and what was left and just pressed the paper down on it. Oops. Hold on a minute, guys. Sorry. My paper just blew away. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> My paper blew away. I'm outside. Oh. So, um, this, and then this was what was left at the very end. And then this was just the very smudges that were left. I just thought it was really cool. Again, this is just playing around with, um, I had some, a stencil that looked bubblish. But, um, I don't know, it just didn't take too well. If it's got too much detail, and you got to kind of get a consistency going with how much paint you've got on it and how much you bray off. Um, that's what all this is with. And then this is just playing around with different stencils and um, doing different backgrounds and stuff. Um, we got red and stuff like that. Then I did like green and purples. And we got stuff like this. See, I had way too much 
paint and it just squished so you have to kind of hit and miss you know till you get the hang of this um this was one this one here was another one the paint was just i don't know it didn't work right um and this is just playing around you know mostly just learning it all on my own um i kind of like how this came out and then this is um like where i tried to do that really thin one um but um uh, that's um uh, what i've got so far and i hope you all have a uh, blessed day and a great weekend. Bye-bye.